ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהכל נהיה בדברים. What is a vaccine? I'm not a physician, but I was told that they inject you with very weak bacteria of a certain type. That wakes up your immunological system and attacks it, since it's a very weak bacteria, it can overcome it, but it learns how to overcome that bacteria. In other words, so that when, by contagion, you receive the real strong bacteria, your immunological system is already trained, alert, and can take care of what happens. What about in corruption? Maybe we should allow for a certain amount of corruption, a little bit, so that you learn that corruption is no good and you will be vaccinated against corruption. You think that is so? Of course not. There is no such thing as a little bit of corruption. Either you're corrupt or you're not. As a matter of fact, our rabbis say the following. If you owe somebody less than a penny, there's no way of giving it back to him because there's no currency that is less than a penny. It's even worse. There is no such thing as a little bit of corruption. Should a judge take a small bribery, maybe? No, of course not. They say that King Solomon was the most intelligent of all men. So he thought he was above the law. The Torah says, the Bible says that a king shouldn't have too many horses, shouldn't have too many wives, and he felt that he is above the law because he's so smart. And eventually that was his downfall also because in the temple you found all kind of idolatry in the first temple in Jerusalem because of these excesses. There is no such thing in morality, in ethics, a little bit. You know, our tradition says that the seal of God is truth. Why doesn't it say the signature of God is truth? So some people say a signature you do in steps. You start signing until you finish. Maybe it takes half a second, maybe it takes three seconds to sign something. But when it comes to a stamp, a seal, once, and that's over. There is no such thing as half-truths. Either it's true or it's not true. I remember as an anecdote, they say that a minister of a certain country was a Venezuelan ministry. That was the story. Came to the United States, and at the airport, he was carrying a briefcase. They stopped him, and they discovered that he had $2 million in bills. They arrested him. But the government intervened, and eventually he was let go, and he came back to Venezuela. So his friend said to him, what did you do? You should have taken it out little by little. Why did you take it out all in one piece? So he says, I was taking it out little by little. You know what, to you, $2 million seems to be a very important sum. Once you're in the stretch of corruption, once you're in that path, $2 million, maybe, maybe nothing. Nowadays they speak of hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars, dollars of corruption. So there is no such thing of a little bit of corruption. There is no vaccination. You can't start with a little bit so that you will react against it the other way around. It seems that the little bit of corruption only opens up your appetite. You want more corruption in the moral world, in the ethical world, it doesn't work. Maybe physically it works. You know, you put an obstacle in front of your muscle and it becomes stronger each time that it has to overcome that obstacle. But when it comes in morality, if you try to corrupt somebody a little bit, eventually he will be totally corrupt. So make sure, don't think that you are above the law. Don't think that you are morally stronger than anybody else. When it comes to deviating from the letter of the law, make sure that you are in the path of the law, that morality and ethics are the north of your life.